Oh, I just <coughs> swallowed wrong. <coughs> oh, I hate when that happens. Um. Ooh, another echo. Is it uh, Seeky? Yep. Do you have headphones, Seeky? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, Injun, how are you? Oh no, bad problems today. What's going on? <clears throat> Is it Tabitha? I think that's Russian, and I can't read Russian. Tatiana, Tatiana. Yes. All right, how are you, Tatiana? Um, I, uh, I today I the first time had this uh, resource and uh, I <laughs> can't uh, uh, use it. Good. That's okay. That's okay. Um, this is a, a an advanced class, so um, if you. If you feel uncomfortable or whatnot, because it is advanced, then um, go ahead and hang out in the lobby. But um, just hang out here with me for a minute and see and see if you get the hang of it. So you're fine. You're doing good. Um, and then, Engine, you have um, some bad feedback. Do you have headphones? I I mute I actually I muted you and Jen so go ahead and unmute yourself. And then is it Sabah? Okay. No one wants to talk to me. <laughs> okay, no. guys. Um, let me kind of give you a quick it's not break. Uh, no, not unless you. If, if you have a lot of background noise, then mm -hmm. yes. But you're fine. You're good, Tatiana. So you don't you don't need one at the moment. So mm -hmm. you're fine. Uh, how can I switch switch off my microphone uh, um, the, when I don't talk? Don't say. Don't speak. Yeah. The, the microphone is at the top right, so if you look if you look above the chat, you'll see a microphone. Yes. So you, all you have to do is click on that when you're not talking, and then when you want to talk again, click on it again. So. Yes, yeah, thank you very much. No problem. No problem. I understand. No problem. So, okay, guys. So, um. Quick thing, um, if you have a lot of background noise, um, I will mute you. Um, if 
your background noise is so disruptive that you can't speak either um, because usually it's because of your connection. Um, it would be better if you were in the lobby so that someone who does have a good connection can come in and play the game. Um, the way that this game works, everybody needs to be able to speak. So if you don't have um, if you don't have a good enough connection to where um, you can comfortably talk, then um, it would be better if you hung out in the lobby. So um, also this is an if this is intermediate to advanced. So um, this is hard. <laughs> um, this game is not the easiest game in the world to play. So. Um, you have to have a pretty decent um, handle on the English language. So make sure that you're in the right spot. Um, if it gets, uh, if you get confused or get, uh, if it gets too difficult for you, again, no problem. Just go in the lobby. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and we have eight players. Okay, perfect. Um, we also only have enough room for eight people. So. Um, those of you who are in the lobby, just hang out um, and see um, if somebody uh, loses their connection or gives up their seat, then you can you can try to uh, try to come in. So um, welcome everyone. Uh, my name is Shanae. Um, I am from the United States. I live in California. So. Um, Today we're going to play one of my favorite games called Jeopardy. It's basically um, a trivia game. And I'll explain how that works in a second. Um, so that you will not type the answers. <laughs> um, and um, we'll just go around real quick and um, make sure that everyone has a nice working connection and have everyone introduce themselves. Um, so Coco, would you like to start for me? Hi, everybody. I'm Coco, or Rukia, my real name, <laughs> from Algeria. I'm 22 years old, and I'm a student at university. OK, excellent. And Ednardo? Sure. Uh... I'm Leonardo Sabino, I'm 24 years old, I'm from Brazil, and uh, so that's it, I, okay. I think that's it. Okay. Um, Injun, how's your connection going? Are you there, Injun? Okay. Um, let's see. Um, Juan? Hi, teacher. Hi, everybody. My name is Juan. I'm from Argentina. In this moment, at this moment, I'm in holidays in Rio de Janeiro. So I take a time for, for this class. Excellent. And Nasser? Hello, everyone. My name is Nasser. I'm from Yemen. I'm 30 years old. Did you say you're 50, no, sir? 30, 30. 50? No, no, Five. 30, 3, 0. Oh, 30. I was like, I didn't know you were 50. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> All right. <laughs> better. That sounds better. That sounds better. I was like, no kidding. So, All right, cool. Um, and uh, Sabah? Hey, hi, everyone. My name is Sabah. I'm from Kurdistan. I'm graduated from uh, College of Science, and I, uh, it's the first time I'm with you in the class. Yeah, very good. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you, too. You. Thanks. And uh, Servet? Oh, no, Servet, your connection's terrible. You sound Finish like a... There you go. Okay, that's better. You were sounding like a robot there for a second. Sometimes, it's better. Sometimes it keeps loading for a long yeah. time. You're good. Yeah. You're good now. 
Yeah, I said I'm Sarah. I am from Turkey, and thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. And uh, and is it uh, Sham? Am I saying that right? Yes. Uh, my name is uh, Sham Ahmed Atran. I'm from in, uh, Yemen. Uh, I need uh, both my uh, skill English. Excellent. Very good. And Tatiana. Hello, my name is Tatiana. I'm from Russia, and uh, I'm sorry for my name. <laughs> and uh, I'll change it in my uh, account, and uh, you can, you can um, uh, read it. <laughs> yeah, no worries, no worries. So at least, at least you understood when I was like, I don't know how to read Russian. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No worries. I was I was kind of close. I said Tabitha, but not not Tatiana. So I was kind of close, kind of close. All right, guys. So um, let's get started. Um, Jeopardy for those of you who have played it with me is a very fun game. Um, you have to watch out for Servit though, because he cheats. No, I'm just kidding, sir. <laughs> Um, but it's a really fun game, and um, this is how you play. So I have five categories on the board behind me. I have U.S. states. I have geography E, which means that all of the answers will start with the letter E. I have rhymes with smart. So each answer, the word that I'm looking for will rhyme with, with the word smart. Um, in the dictionary, which is just other, you know, any word that you might find in the dictionary. And also foods that are good for you. Okay? So how you play is when it's your turn, you will pick a category and a point amount. So you'll say like, okay, I want foods that are good for you for 200. Then I will give you a question. Obviously your job is to try to answer the question. If you get the question right, then your team gets those points. If you don't get it right, then your team gets no points. So, um, and there's no helping. You have to answer the question by yourself. So that's the tricky part. So for those of you who are outside in the lobby, um, please don't type. Um, if you type and somebody sees the answer, then nobody gets any points. So um, you can play along, you can scream and yell at your computer all you want, but just don't type it, please. So um, does anybody have any questions? No. Okay, good. You'll, you'll get the hang of it as, as we go. All right, so team one. Team one will be Coco, Ednardo, uh, Juan and Nasser. Okay. Team two will be Sabah, Servet, Sham, and Tatiana. Okay. So it's fun. Um, Coco, I'm going to have you start us off. Coco, my rival today. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna choose food that are good for you. Uh, six uh, hundred points. Six hundred. Mm, All right, Coco. Coco, think like the most helpful things like alcohol, cigarettes. <laughs> <right. laughs> okay, okay, yeah, Coco. <laughs> when you reach for the Newtons, remember this fruit, which is the original flavor 
and is high in fiber. You picked like one of the hardest Can questions. You <laughs> Yeah. All right. Uh, when you reach for the Newtons, remember this fruit, which is the Whoa, original. Apple. Oh, say that again. Apple. No. no. Let me finish typing this. Oh uh, yeah. It's a fig. A fig. Oh, yes. Pig. A fig. Fig, yeah. Fig yeah. Newtons. Fig Newtons. They're really popular in the U.S. So, oh. Fig Newtons. Good try, though. Good try. All right. Um, Savat? Are you there, Sabah? Sabah! I don't know. Okay, serve it. It'll go okay. to you. Okay. In the dictionary, 600. Today. Okay, so serve it. <clears throat> maze is another word for this. A maze? Oh. Maze is another word for this. A maze. Maze. Mm -hmm. First time I hear this. Maze. Is the French word? I don't know. Mm, corn? Yes. Yes. Good yes. job, Google. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, very good. All right, Ednardo? Uh, I'm going to try U.S. state for 800. All right. All right, Ednardo. It earned its nickname, the Equality State, by being the first to give voting rights to women back in 1869. Yes. Oh gosh, hard one. Yeah. Oh, it, easy one. Mm -hmm. it earned whoops, not warned. It earned its nickname the Equality State by being the first to give voting rights to women back in eighteen sixty nine. Is it the nail group? It's not your turn, serve it. <laughs> if you followed Colin Nicholas as well, you would know it. Is it a name of a, a state? Yes. Oh, gosh. Oh, I'm trying to guess. And, uh, is it uh, Washington? Free... Good guess. Free... It was actually Wyoming. Wyoming. Freedom. Wyoming. Freedom Wyoming. Wyoming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I good don't guess know on this. Washington. I don't know this name. I don't know this state. Wyoming. Wyoming. It's like Where is um, it? it's in the like in the center. Well, it's not really in the center, but kind of almost in the center, but way up north. It borders Canada. Hmm. So, yeah. I think it goes Washington, Idaho, Iowa, Wyoming. I think I don't know. My geography is terrible, so um, 
But yeah, it's it's a very sparsely populated state, which means a lot of not a lot of people live there. Wow. So yeah, um, good try though. Okay, Sham, it's your turn. Okay. Yes, to the boat. Which yeah, which one would you which which one would you like? Yes, um, uh, four four hundred. For which category? Yes, uh, four hundred uh, table uh, number uh, four. Say that again. Uh, four hundred. For for which category? He said four. And uh, four. Oh, uh, okay. line number four. Yes. Okay. Okay, Sham. Cloves of this strong smelling herb are good for your heart, but not for your breath. Yes, uh, please, uh, right? Say that again. Yes, uh, please, right? I don't understand God. Cloves of this strong smelling herb are good for your heart, but not for your breath. Okay, this right. <clears throat> Uh, the rose. Oh, I don't know. No, 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 no. It's. Say that again, Sean. Uh, yes. Oh. Sean, <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. It's like spicy. Uh, fall. It starts with B, right? No, it's, it's sir. Uh -huh. it. <laughs> it's my name. Okay, Lucas uh, actually. Grackle? They wrote it. Yeah, Lucas typed it, so no points. You guys can't um. type it in the in the chat because yeah, because then your team won't get. It is garlic. It is garlic, yeah, but you is. can't. Yeah, yeah, you. Yeah, you can't type it though. So no, um. If you are in the lobby, please don't type the answer. So, okay. Um, Why one, is not good for breasts? I don't know. It's useful. Makes your breast steamy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought black pepper when I had breath. Yeah, black pepper no. makes you. No, pain. not really. Gar garlic and onion makes your breast smell bad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it stinks. Um, okay, Juan, your turn. Yes, teacher. Geography four hundred. Geography for four. All right. Okay, one. Remember that all the answers start with the letter E. So your answer must start with an E. All right. The Galapagos Islands are at zero degrees latitude, which means they are right above this imaginary line that encircles the Earth. Ecuador, teacher. Oh. I'll get equator. Yeah, I'll give it to you. Yeah, equator. I'll give it to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good job. Good job. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> nice job. Nice job. Good job, Juan. Woo woo. All right. So yes, and the questions are difficult. It's because it's an intermediate and um, advanced class. These questions are hard. Um, hi, Vanessa. How are you? Hi. I'm fine. Thank you. 
Awesome. Have you played this with me before? I can't. I don't remember. Uh, well, I, I've arrived uh, just a few minutes ago, and more or less I know how this game works. Perfect. Excellent. It's your turn, sweets. So if you want to pick a category and a point amount. Okay. Uh, a thousand food that you eat. Woohoo! Woo. <laughs> Good one. Okay. All right. All right, Vanessa. Yeah. One of the most nutritious fishes around is this one, like the Chinook or Atlantic. Okay. That's a difficult one. Oh, yeah. Thousands of uh, tons. Okay, uh, I don't know too many fishes, you know. Take a guess. I'm just, I'm just gonna say one. Hopefully, it's the right one. For example, uh, bass. Oh, salmon, salmon. <laughs> Good guess, though. Yeah, salmon. Good try. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, no, you're so mean. All right, Nasser. Yes, uh, rhyme with uh, smart, 600. Rhyme with smart for six. Mm. All right, Nasser. It can be a separating line in your hair or a role in a play. Or what? It can be a separating line in your hair or a role in a play. Oh. Start with. Say that again, Nasser. It's a start with. Uh, no, it's gonna rhyme. <laughs> It'll rhyme with smart. So they have a naughty one in the that like smart rhymes with fart. <laughs> um, it's the word will rhyme. The correct answer will rhyme. So it can be a separating line in your hair or a part in a play. Or a role in a play, excuse uh, me. Diving line. Diving line. No, I, I actually I, gave, I oh. just gave you the answer by accident, yeah. but it's a part. Yes. Part. Part. Yeah. You have a part, a part in your hair or a part in a play. So yeah. Yes. Well, mm. Yeah. Part smart. They rhyme. So, mm-hmm. They rhyme. Um Tatiana. Thank you. Uh, uh, United States. Mm, Two hundred. All right. Good. States. Okay, Tatiana. This. State's geographic center lies about 12 miles northwest of Little Rock. I'll type it. This state's geograph oops, lies about 12, whoops, 12 miles northwest of Little Rock. Where is Little Rock? That's what you have to figure. That's what she's trying to has to figure out. Where is Little Rock? Oh. Uh, 
Google Maybe knows. Texas. <laughs> Google knows. Ta Texas. Tatiana. Yeah. Good guess. Arkansas. 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 Ah. Yeah, Arkansas. Good guess, though. Good guess. Good guess. So, um, Coco, we're back to you. Okay. This time I'm gonna pick up. Uh, oh God, it is so. <laughs> oh God. I'm gonna pick up. Uh, oh, um, words in the dictionary or in the dictionary? Yeah. Uh, yeah, eight hundred points. All right. Oh. Oh. Mm. All right, Coco. This word for someone who walks comes from the Latin for foot. Walk. Someone who walks. Mm hmm. Yep. This word. For someone who walks comes from the Latin for foot. This word for someone who walks comes from the Latin for foot. Walk. Mm. Slam says footing. <laughs> Um, it's difficult. Mm. This word for someone who walks comes from the Latin for food. Um, oh God. Maybe foot? <laughs> no. No, no. Pedestrian. Pedestrian. Oh. Pedestrian. Oh. Pedestrian. Pedestrian. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I knew it. Oh. yeah, you guys just gotta think of the clues. Think of the clues. Um serve it. We're back to you, you little cheater. Okay, <laughs> I have to choose something that I can cheat. Um, you are so... <laughs> rhymes with smart 1000. <laughs> Composer Wolfgang. Composer? What? what? <laughs> Composer Wolfgang. Is Wolfgang is a person? That's what you gotta figure out, serve it. Composer <laughs> mm. Wolfgang. What is it? I don't understand the question. <laughs> you, have to fi you have to figure out what rhymes with smart that has to do with the composer named Wolfgang. Okay, Mozart. You are such a cheater. Cheater, <laughs> cheater, cheater. <laughs> I'll Google. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, next time I don't know if I'm going to give you points, sir, because it's like so blatantly obvious that you're cheating. Um, <laughs> all right, um, Ednardo. Yeah, okay, let's go. Uh, um, geography E. Okay. You mean 1,000 or 200? Uh, no, no, 1,000. Okay. Okay, Ednardo. The majority of American family histories can be traced to ancestors landing on this 
U.S. Island in New York Bay. Gosh. It's a really famous island in New York. Can you type it? Mm -hmm. Please. Yes. The majority of American family histories can be traced back to ancestors landing on this famous island in New York Bay. Hmm. Islands Majority in New York Bay. Of American Tatiana knows it. I know she does. Don't say it, Tatiana, but I know you know it. I can tell. I hear keyboard. Uh, I, I, I know only one no. island. What's that? What's that? I I I'm trying to I try to guess. Time Is it, up. Uh, Long Island. Uh, Ellis Island. Ellis Island. Yeah. 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 Ellis Island. <laughs> Ellis Island. It's really famous. Like everybody who. Like back when a lot of people were immigrating to the United States, all of them had to go through Ellis Island before they could actually get in the U.S. So yeah, it's really famous. Um, uh, Sham. Yes. It's your turn. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, for uh, for uh, twenty uh, two uh, thousand. Say that 200. again. Two hundred. Two two hundred uh, uh, foods. Two hundred foods. Please, uh, tape. Time. Okay. You may not like this vegetable from a can like Popeye did, but you may like it fresh on a salad. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, it's... It's my team. Right, Sham? Oh, yeah. yes, and uh, online. All Please, just a minute, uh, yes. Mm. Uh, uh, on, uh, on a nice. On nice. Ah, uh, you guys, stop typing outside. <laughs> no, yeah, no, no points, because Francisco yeah. typed it. <laughs> yeah, it's spinach, it's spinach. But outside, the people in the lobby keep typing, so they got to stop that. Um, okay, one. Geography 600, teacher. <clears throat> okay, this island in the South Pacific is named for the day of its discovery, a religious holiday. Can you type, teacher? Uh-huh. <laughs> this island in the South Pacific is named for the day of its discovery, a religious holiday. Remember that everything has to start with the letter E. Oh, not too easy. Coco. What is effects? Coco. Hard effects. Hard effects. Say that again. Enrique Island. 
<laughs> oh, <I don't> <laughs> <laughs> Easter Island. Easter Island, yeah, Easter Island. So. I don't hear Juan. Why? I don't know. I don't know why. Oh, I... teacher, la is Isla de Pascua. Uh, in in what? In, in Spanish? Chile. Isla de Pascua. Sí, sí. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, Vanessa. Yeah, I'm here. Your turn. Yeah, the last uh, the last number for food. For food, okay. Yeah, eight hundred. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, Vanessa. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> While not a favorite for kids, these veggies named for a world capital are full of vitamins and protein. Okay, one more after word for kids who said it's named for a world capital of vitamins and protein. Okay. okay, maybe uh uh, green beans. Oh, good guess, but Brussels sprouts. Uh -huh. <laughs> Brussels. <laughs> Brussels. I don't. I'm not a kid, but I can't stand them. Ugh, they're. Blah. <laughs> I don't like them at all. Yeah, <laughs> they're bitter and gross. Yuck. Um. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like them at all. Um. Nasser. Yes. In the dictionary, I don't know, 1,000. <laughs> Would you type it, please? All right. In the dictionary, this one's kind of hard. I hope you've taken lots of grammar classes. Kayak is an example of this, a word that reads the same both forwards and backwards. Kayak is an example of this. The word is it? Oh. One week ago, I with my cousin was searching for it. Do you remember what it was called? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, something. <laughs> the, uh, no, I think it's the uh, diagno diagnoli. It's near or it's so far. <laughs> it's yeah. We say it's on the tip of your tongue. Yeah. Do you know Nasser? 500, can I get? No! <laughs> <laughs> it's diagonally, or diagonally, I think. It's, a, it's called a palindrome. Yeah. A palindrome. Oh. A palindrome. Yeah. Really hard. Yeah. Now you'll never forget it. So a word that's the same forwards and backwards is called a palindrome. And I can't think... Um, anybody outside, can you think of any more palindromes? Revolver. Say that again. Uh, revive, uh, revive, reviver. Um, no, no, because re revive. Mom. Revived, yeah, because revive wouldn't, that would, backwards, that would be E V I V E R. Reviver. Huh? No, that's different. Yeah, mom. Yeah, mom. Yeah, mom is right. Oh, reviver. Yeah, reviver would be, I think. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, reviver would be. Um, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, good job, guys. Dad, dad. Also dad, dad, mm -hmm. mom. dad, mom, mm -hmm. yep. 
Um, all right, Tatiana, what you what you got? Um, uh, the questions, uh, all questions, <laughs> is easy, but when I chose uh, some <laughs> questions, it's difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, I chose. Uh, I can't uh, see variants. I see co Coco Fox <laughs> only. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, click, click on um, my picture on the bottom. Oh, okay. And okay. that'll make it big. And that'll make me big. Uh huh. Let's uh, it be geography. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nine hundred. For eight hundred. Eight hundred. Eight hundred. All right. Okay. You can do this one, Tatiana. I know you can do this one. All right. Remember, it starts with an E. All right. Parts of the Arabian and Libyan. Deserts um, are found in this African country. Oh, why not? <laughs> Time's up. <laughs> um, maybe it's uh, Egypt. Yeah, Egypt. Uh, yes. yes. <laughs> I've been uh, to Egypt. Very good. Very good. All right. Okay. Um, Coco, back to you. Okay. If I will, if I will, um. Have a wrong answer? I will quit. I quit. <laughs> oh, whatever. You do not. <laughs> okay. Um, what's in the dictionary for hundred? Which one? In the dictionary. In the All right, Coco. As an adjective, it can mean proper. As a verb, it would mean something like to grade papers. To grade. Mm -hmm. I know you know this. <laughs> I don't know. If I say it, you're going to be like, <sighs> Yeah, you know, I know the answer as the last one, but maybe I'm not. I should focus. As an adjective, it can mean proper. As a verb to grade papers. Oh. Maybe major. Uh, yeah. to, correct. Yeah. Come on. Correct. Yeah, because if you're proper, you're correct. And if you are grading papers, you're correcting papers. Yeah. Oh. Good try. Good try, Coco. But you are not yeah, correcting yeah, it. Yeah. You are checking it. If you correct, you fix the mistakes. Yes, that's right. But that's what I mean. Grading is mm -hmm. a bit different. When you grade, you don't fix, you don't correct. Yes, it. you do. Yeah, yeah, you do. 
When you, we, okay, well, in America, all those big red marks on a paper in school, mm -hmm. that's corrections. Those are called mm -hmm. corrections, yeah. Oh. yeah. So, all right, serve it. No, my turn. Okay. Let's say rhymes with smart. Uh, 800. Servant, this is for you. <laughs> this is for cheaters. cheater. <laughs> this is for all cheaters. <laughs> A graphic representation of information. Chart. Really? <laughs> really? Without cheating. I was going to say that was too quick for you to cheat. Good job, Servant. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Servant has redeemed himself as a non-cheater. <laughs> He's <laughs> a half-cheater. Um, okay. U.S. states... Mm, 600. Let's go. You got this one, Edmardo. I know Please you Please, God. I swear, God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, Ednardo. Clearwater and Palm Beach are popular seaside resorts in this state. Resort? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Pay attention to what I'm saying. Clearwater okay. and Palm right, Beach. Beach. Clear water and Palm Beach. Palm what? Palm Beach are popular seaside resorts in this state. They're cities. Palm Beach. Palm Beach. Where is Palm Beach? It's from somewhere. Uh, Palm Beach. Gosh, where is Palm Palm Beach? Ah! I, I, re I remember this. <laughs> <laughs> I saw in a movie of uh, uh, I don't know if it's California or Florida. Uh, he is, hey, uh, he's a good actor. I know uh, that's like California. <laughs> Florida. I'm trying to guess. Florida. Mm, yes, it's Florida. It's Florida. I so. saw in a movie of uh, I don't remember now the name of the actor of this movie. He was, was in it, Palm Beach. Was it a good movie? Yeah, I, I. What's the name of that guy? I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know you know, but I don't remember. I'm, I'm trying to, to remember at the end of the class. <laughs> okay. Um, Sean? Yes. Uh, uh, in the dictionary, uh, 200. Okay. Mm. Whoops. Ah. Oops. Okay, Sham. It's the four letter name of the pleated skirt men wear in Scotland. Whoops. Scotland. Okay. It's the four-letter name of the pleated skirt men wear in Scotland. No? 
Uh, I don't really know this. Time no. stop. A kilt. Yes. A kilt. A kilt. Good try, though. Good try. All right, one. <laughs> Teacher, you need to change 400. Yes. Coco, when somebody knows you don't play applause sound. <laughs> you just play the set sound. <laughs> Yeah, All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, one. America's largest national park. It's called here. I'm gonna type it because I don't know if I'm gonna say it right. Um, America's largest national park called Wrangell Saint Elias covers more than. Eight million acres in this large state. America's largest national park called Wrangell St. Elias covers more than eight million acres in this large state. Is South Carolina? <laughs> no. No. Oh. No. Alaska. Alaska. I just swallowed wrong again. I don't know what's going on. <clears throat> All right. Good try. Um, Vanessa. Yeah, I'm here. Uh, well, um, 200 uh, rhymes with a smart. All right. Okay, blood pumper, blood pumper. Oh. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what, what, what that, uh, what does it mean? Sorry, I don't. No. I know blood. I know blood, but pumper. Yeah, something that makes blood move. Something that makes blood move. Okay, yeah. So maybe heart. Yeah, good job. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, Nasser. Yes, uh, rhyme with smart. It's a small slender missile you throw at a board during a game. What? In a game. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Small slender missile you throw